A man who's one of the tops in the business at evaluating National Football League talent and also seeing a lot of these guys in person while part of ESPN's college football coverage. He is Todd McShay back here on the Rich Eisen Show from the Worldwide Leader in Sports. How are you, sir? I'm great, Rich. How are you? Uh, I got to tell you, I'm I'm uh, I'm not a, I'm not pleased, Todd. I'm not pleased. Uh, I just saw Schefter. Okay, what's up? Uh, I mean, uh, I just saw Schefter say Chase Young's not going to participate in on-field drills. Are we getting there? Where to the point where where the top defensive prospect is going to treat the combines on-field drills like uh, like a quarterback? Is that what we got now? Going uh, on I, what's going on? I'm sure we're inching towards it. You know, and I'm sure there are a lot of crusty old scouts that are uh, that are angry and uh, and it's frustrating, but. But it is what it is, and and you gotta you gotta adjust. I mean, usually the defensive guys all show up and, and participate, right? Yeah. I mean, usually it's the quarterbacks and you know a receiver who's got a little strain in his calf here and there. But usually the rest of the guys come on, come and work out and compete. Um, you know, he didn't play that well down the stretch. His final three games weren't that great, and I and I finished up his tape, and I love him physically, and I you know, you go over the last five years of, of edge rushers and his grade is, is right up there with, with all the other top guys. I mean, I've got a 95 grade on, on chase young. I got had a 95 on Bosa, Nick Bosa, Joey Bosa, miles Garrett, and then a 94 on, on uh, Bradley Chubb coming out of NC state. So those are the top five edge rushers, in my opinion, in the last five years, he certainly is up there, but the Bosa's worked out, even though, you know, Nick ran a, what was it? A four. He ran in the four sevens. I want to say that Joey ran a four eight, uh, four eight two, and they were both really disappointed by it. Uh, Miles Garrett had a, had a great workout, but it, you know it doesn't matter. Just show up and compete. I guess is my whole point. And so yeah, there's some frustration there. Uh, it doesn't look like Joe Burrow is going to throw, from what I understand. But we'll we'll see what what happens there. And obviously, Tua Tagovailoa can't do anything because of the hip injury, and he'll still be one of the. You know, one of the the biggest focuses of of the entire combine coverage, I'm sure, and and what he's doing, and where he's eating, and who he's meeting with, and <laughs> how how people are responding to him, and and the leadership he's showing on the field, and this, that, and the other thing. But um, you know, it, it, it's frustrating to see a guy like Chase, who who still has some things to prove, um, deciding not to not to work out. Well, I guess the the point is, is that he's either going to be number one overall because Joe Burrow is going to force his way. Um, out of Cincinnati, yeah. um, and, and Cincinnati, so you're going to say, to heck with it, we'll go with the surefire kid from uh, the Ohio State, or he's going to be number two because Joe Burrow is going to either Cincinnati or whoever trades up to Cincinnati uh, to go get him. So I guess he's just like, I'm number one, I'm number two, why do I got to do this? I'll, I'll work out at Columbus and, and whatnot, even though that gives off the impression that he doesn't want to compete. And and uh, I guess that's that. That's his prerogative. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv for free on BR Live, or download the Rich Eisen Show app.